What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kwaku, and today I bring you Strix Music. Strix Music is a third party Spotify client uh, from the developer Arlo. And if you are familiar with this myth, legend Arlo for the Windows community, he is the one that made MyTube, which is a third party YouTube application. We're going to take a look at his beta application, still currently in development, obviously, and see how it works and see just how different it could be um, and what potential it can hope for uh, Spotify users on Windows 10. Let's take a look. So here in front of me is Strix Music Beta. As I said before, it is pretty much a Spotify client for Windows 10, a native Spotify client for Windows 10. Um, it obviously doesn't look like the actual Spotify uh, application that Spotify, the company as a whole, makes. Um, but this is it. So it looks it looks really good at first glance. Um, there's not much fluent to it right now, as I can tell. Just kind of looking at it right here, just generally, there's not much fluent to it. It's kind of really just black and just obviously I think this is a dark theme going with it. Um, Starting with the tabs on the side here, so you have this here, this is the closed navigation, closes this navigation to go just to icons here. Um, if you see any artifacting that's on the video, like there's a green thing here, or like this yellow thing here, just ignore it. Um, this, this yellow thing just tells you what you're clicking on, so you can see what you've currently viewed. So my playlist, you see that it changes as I click on whatever playlist it is. Um, but yeah, going back to now playing. So now playing, uh, I was playing a song called uh, The List by Moonchild. Um, and this is how it looks when you're playing a video in full screen. So if you're familiar with the Zoom interface, um, you can see that. In fact, let me let me pull up Zoom. So if you're familiar with the Zoom interface, and this is how it looks like here, this is actually the Zoom app, I reinstalled it. Uh, you can see how that looks. It looks really cool, right? Um, and then this is Strix Music in their full screen form. So far, um, it goes through a big photo slideshow. Spotify on the regular application just simply shows um, just the album artwork. And sometimes if the artist has uploaded like a picture like this, Spotify will pull this kind of picture or simple animation. But this is Strix Music's uh, full screen uh, playback uh, mode. It looks pretty clean already. It looks really clean. This is the album right here. And if I click on it, let's see what happens. Looks like nothing happens, even though there's a thing to it. I'm pretty sure what this should do is when you click on the album artwork, it should jump to the album. But if you click the name of the album, it'll jump to, uh, I guess, it's jumping to a playlist for some reason and I'm not sure again with that uh, why it's jumping to a playlist versus the album itself and then let's click on the artist and see so yeah when I click on the artist Moonchild then it brings up the artist itself and then the song of one of their top tracks so it's a kind of strange thing of course this is a first look so obviously right from the top when you click on the album um, yes you can click on it even in full screen but when you click on it it looks like all it does is reset the slideshow and then when you click on the song name it jumps to, I guess, the playlist that the song is playing from um, instead of the actual song's album, which is kind of strange. And then when you click on the artist, then it brings you to the artist page. So going back to now playing, you get your usual things, your shuffle, your, you know, change tracks, your previous forward, your play, your, you know, was it repeat? And then you got your scrubbing of the songs. It gives you the number so you can see the exact uh, time crunch that it's at. And you got your volume, which again, scrolls or swipes. Then if I click this button here for media controls, you can see here I can add to cue, song, radio, play, music video. That actually doesn't work yet um, in this current version. So he said he'll get to it later on. Uh, you can hit show album, which when you click on that, it jumps to the album Voyager that this song is part of. Um, and then when you click on that, uh, going down, show artist, it shows the artist, obviously. Save to library. And if I click save to library right here. It will save it to my regular library and it'll allow me to listen to the song, you know, in my library. 
And if I hit add to, you can hit add to and you can bring it up, add it to a playlist or whatever it is. And it will sync over to um, the regular Spotify application as well. And then down here is just more shortcuts to those simple things. So you have your play music video. Um, it says here music videos are disabled in this version. Uh, and then he has the closed captioning the which, or the lyrics. Uh, so if you click on it, he's bringing, he's aggregating the lyrics. And I'll show you in, later on in the video uh, where he's getting the lyrics from. Uh, so they may not be 100% correct because not all websites are correct with lyrics. But this is better than anything you can get so far because just about every song has lyrics to it. Um, so it's really nice that you can get the lyrics for anything and do your simple karaoke with it. Um, and then you can obviously, obviously click this here. And then what this does is it, it shows your play cue, so it allows you to see what songs are coming up next and what songs were played previously, which is really dope. And then here you have your cast button. So if I click this button, I can I can choose to cast my um, my music to whatever computer is in my house or whatever device. So I have Sonos speakers and other things. So the family room is to me is a Sonos speaker. Um, I'm surprised it's not showing my other Sonos speaker, but... Yeah, so I can cast it to whatever I want. So it's really nice and cool that, you know, iOS has AirPlay where you can cast things to um, various devices. And this application, if the phone didn't interrupt me, give me one second. And after I was rudely interrupted by a phone call, uh, where I was here, uh, yeah. So down here you can cast to, and yeah, so the next tab here, I was rudely interrupted by a phone call. Uh, is your recently played so you can see all the tracks you've recently played um as a whole is really cool so this doesn't even just show uh what i've played on this app this shows what i've played on my spotify account as a whole so you can see what songs were explicitly were explicit versus normal like have nothing you know clean lyrics you can just see all of the songs that i played recently i don't know how many songs it is i really don't feel like counting you can also sort them too so you can sort a b c a through z what year they came out so you can see 2002 all the way up to the modern decade of 2020. Um, and then you can see playlists of recently played. Uh, you can see the albums you've recently played. You can see the artists you've recently played. So it's it's really cool that you can see just a history of what you've recently played. And in fact, let me see. Can you click on the year? No, you can't. So, yeah, it's really cool that you can see what you've recently played. And it's, I, I think that's really interesting. Uh, going on to the next one here, you got Browse. Browse again is the whole uh, browse Spotify. So it allows you to just see different different groups of songs, aka playlists, kind of that are related to whatever it is you're thinking about. So you have like Tuesday jams because today is Tuesday. So it just knew that it comes from Spotify. So it knows based on Spotify API that these are the Tuesday jams that will pop up even on your phone. Spotify that's what will show up. Uh, you can see the new releases. Um, let's see if it loads for this one don't believe it's showing new releases so i guess that doesn't work or there are no new releases which i highly doubt um and then you can see here this is my music and you see here this is the plus icon so if i want to make a new playlist i can make a new playlist with that plus icon if i want to do my music so you can see my playlists here my meh playlist art thought playlist and a whole bunch of other things and the playlist show just like normal uh when you see it this is how many songs i have in my playlist i like how clean the look of it is um, you can make your playlist private, share it, delete it, edit the details of it. So edit the details allows you to put a description and stuff if you're that type of person and even upload art to make it as a cover just to personalize your playlist a little bit more. So that's really cool. Uh, going over, you got album. Similar as before, you have your music albums that you've saved. So I've saved various different albums um, to my Spotify thing. I don't know. I don't even think I put this to these two up, but I guess it's there. Um, and then artists as well, and then you got your tracks as well for all the things you've saved as a whole. So it just kind of, again, once again, the theme is it aggregates everything from your Spotify account and just fills it in in a different style. It's a different concept of how Spotify would look like on a Windows 10. If if Spotify was was made specifically for Windows 10 with the Windows 10 design scheme and everything like that, Windows 10 Fluent UI, uh, this is what this this uh, creator, I almost called him artist, this is what this creator, this designer, um, developer, uh, his vision is for this application. And then you got, you know, your playlists and you can see through, you know, you can click your playlist on the side and so on. So going back, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if I click this menu button here, you see it collapses the menu and brings it bigger. It's pretty straightforward. And if I click the gear icon, this is the settings here. So 
this is what I was talking about before about where he gets certain things from. So he says, this is the theme. It's using my system theme. If you want to do light theme, you can do that. Uh, let me see. Yeah. So this is light theme for Spotify. Uh, and then this is the dark theme. And then you can change the player type. So if you click this question mark, it says, um, how should Strix play music? And it says he can stream Spotify audio, lightweight and, and performant and so on. MyTube uses official audio video for playback. Doesn't always perfectly match song data with uh, music videos. And it's more stable in the background. Remote only. Control other Spotify devices. No player loaded, even for lower memory usage. And if you click that, you can choose between the different modes of how the app will work. You can see his partners, um, UWP community. And then this is the developer, Arlo Godfrey. Um, you can see the change log. You can see a whole bunch of information it says here. And I say it again, it is in beta. So anything that doesn't work or anything that's kind of off seeming, uh, you should just let them know if you end up downloading it. You, there's no direct download on the store just because uh, this this app is just not allowed on the store since Spotify doesn't like third party applications. Uh, and it says here, uh, portions of the content are provided by Spotify, Last FM, Genius, and Bing Images. So you can already imagine most of the lyrics, if not all of them, are coming from Genius, uh, which used, used to be just Rap Genius. Um, comes from Genius, so they should be pretty pretty good. Uh, Last FM as well, um, and then Spotify and Bing Images for other things, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, he's not related at all to Spotify. But yeah, I think I think it's really interesting that he made this this personalized application um, for Spotify. I think there's there's a long. Obviously, he's got a ways to go. He's not launching it even this year, I believe. I think he says he's hoping for launch 2021 for this to come out to version 1.0. So right now it is in, in, in a beta form right now. Uh, a few things that I can already um, say with this whole um, application that I think in terms of feedback would be right here where it says closed captioning or it's the closed captioning icon. I know I hope this is a placeholder because um, I don't have a design off the top of my head, but I believe that um, Arlo should change this icon because closed captioning is usually what we think of for video um, lyrics not necessarily meaning closed captioning um basically i know closed captioning just allows you to see what what is actually being said visually instead of just listening to it um, and that's what lyrics are but i feel like there could be a different logo for this i'm not sure what just off the top of my head but maybe think about the logo um let me see what else is there so oh yeah and also when you click full screen and you click the album and it just resets the the slideshow I feel like when you click on this picture, it should just jump to the album name. It should just give you two options. Maybe click on the picture and or uh, click on, you know, the song title and it'll jump to the album. And then just like when you click on his the name itself of the artist, it goes to the artist. When you click on the name of the album it should or the song, it should go to the album the song is part of. Um, and then when you click on the album, this should be album. So basically, in summary, when you click on the album art, it should go to the album. When you click on the song it should go to the album the song is part of uh, and then and highlight maybe the song. And then when you click on the name of the artist, it should jump to the artist, which it's already doing. Um, yeah. So, so far, so good. This was a first look at Strix Music. It is in beta. You can check it out. You just have to do some research. I'll put a link, I believe. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description box um, so that you guys can try it out yourself and let me know what you think. And as always, leave feedback for Arlo because he's trying to get as much feedback as possible to make this as good as an experience as possible because it's just him and maybe a couple other people working on this. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or concerns, you can email me nextgenwindows at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter, um, NXT Windows. And, yeah, take care, everybody.